and work even harder at trying out more and more running shoes for all of you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching, signing off. All right, you're the best. Ah, uh, ah, uh, so good. I'll Oh yeah, running, running gear check day. Here we go. Oh, but first, opening up some boxes. Shout outs. Well, let's get inside first. These are for the next running shoe giveaway. Oh yeah, looking good. Oh boy. It's almost official. I knew it was coming, but I think a storage unit might be in the not so distant future. Just running out of room in here. Like, we're totally packed. Thank you. And I can tell, I can tell the shoes that just arrived today in mint condition almost. They, uh, I think a couple of the pairs were brand new, or at least they looked uh, like they had never been worn before. But uh, for the running shoe giveaways, if you're sending shoes in, uh, my rule of thumb is that less than 30 miles on the shoe, less than 30 miles. So basically two, maybe three runs in the shoe, just so when they're given away to someone, they're basically receiving brand new running shoes. And I can tell these are in really, really good condition. Uh, but, um, hmm, does anybody have a storage unit in Denver that they're not using? Just saying, just putting it out there, putting it out there. Okay, because we are we're packed to the gills. And I like to keep the shoes, ideally I would love to keep them in a storage unit that has uh, temperature control. So anyway, onward and upward, thank you so much. Okay, here we go, let's go. One last, one last thing, almost forgot. Gotta tape, tape something up here on the door so I can see it every time I walk out. I'll let you know what that says here in a little bit. All right, come on. <laughs> if you need help, you just let me know. Okay, let's... Let's break down some gear, everyone, real quick. And yes, I'll tell you the shoes I'm going to be wearing today on uh, first impression run. Hold on, let me set this down and get a table real quick. Okay, here we go. I think I've got everything. If I have to jump up again, do forgive me. All right, so shout out to, I believe his name was Brian, gave me the idea for today's vlog. He basically asked, uh, maybe about a week ago, said, Seth, why don't you make a vlog about your running gear now that you are back to running. And I've done this in the past, so if you've already seen a lot of this gear, do forgive me, but it never hurts to refresh, even for my sake, to remember, okay, oh yeah, I use this when I go on a long run, or I use this when I go up to the mountain. So, or, let's jump in, I use this to recover from runner's knees. So somebody asked, oh gosh, I don't know, maybe Strava, uh, they asked what the company is for the slant board. So the, the name of the company is Yes For All. Yes For All makes this slant board for stretching your calves. St I use it for the reverse uh, squats uh, to help strengthen a lot of, well, my quads, especially for the runner's knee. Yes For All, it's adjustable. See how it can go to different heights or different angles, I should say. So, and then it goes all the way up to the steepest, which I can't even use yet. It's just way too intense uh, thus far. So Yes For All is the name of the slant board. And I can't find it quite this exact one on Amazon or else I would link it below, but I can't find it. So if I find it, I'll try and remember to link it below, but I'm struggling to find it through Amazon. Okay, and then real quick, I just, yep, I forgot something. Hold on. Shout out to Dan on Twitter. He asked uh, yesterday on Twitter, he said, Seth, do you use the Polar Vantage V and would I recommend it? So the Polar Vantage V is a watch that I started using last fall, 2019. And Dan, to answer your question, I would say 100%. Now it's pretty expensive. I think it's around $450. So that's a lot of money for a watch. But I will say, Dan, this is by far the best running watch I have ever owned. And just gonna say, 
compared to the Sun 25, yeah, Sun 25 that I own, I'm liking the Polar Vantage V much, much more. And, okay, I will say though, I have not tried out, I also have a Koros watch, it's in my room, um, and I haven't used the Koros yet because of the runner's knee, I just was out from running, and so I haven't had a chance to test it, but, and Dan, I'm not a heart rate trainer, you know, I don't train by heart rate, so the Polar Vantage lineup is known for being really solid when it comes to heart rate through your wrist, I think it actually is pretty solid. I could notice immediately when I started using it last fall, like, oh, this seems really, really accurate. Um, anyway, so I would highly recommend it. It's I've had no issues except once. I think it lost the GPS signal just once. And what else? I just love, I love it. Even though I'm not a heart rate guy, I still love it. And uh, I don't use, I don't look at it for heart rate when I'm running. Uh, but on the face of the watch, just from uh, just like looking at the numbers on the watch while you're running, spot on. I think it's really, really great. So Dan, yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's dive in. Here we go. So for me, everyone, when I'm going out for a run, now it's winter time, but usually I have a long sleeve, just like this, you know, long sleeve I picked up at the New York City Marathon. A lot of times I'll wear a t-shirt on top of the long sleeve for a little extra uh, layering through the... Um, I get the midfoot through the uh, torso of the body. And then uh, I'll put on a light windbreaker. This is a Brooks windbreaker and it is listed below. I do believe if it isn't, I'll double check, but it's from Brooks and I've had this thing for five years and I just love it. It's so, so lightweight. Um, yeah, Brooks makes it. So anyway, it's just a light windbreaker. Okay, and then onto the head. So I love this setup for the head. So this is a buff. This, now every company in the world now makes buffs where you basically just pull it over your head. It's called buff, but there is a company also called buff, as most of you know. So I just pull it over my ears, just like that. It covers the neck, and then I tuck it into my shirt, just like that. And if it is above 30 degrees, this is all I need. I don't need another layer, but if it's below 30 degrees, I usually put on a like a headband, something like this, just a headband, just to cut just to get a little more protection over the ears. It also depends on how fast I'm running that day. And then if it's below if it's below like 22 degrees, right around there, I will replace the headband with a full-on hat over top of the buff, okay? See that there? I'll put a hat on and this combination if I'm running faster than, you know, even eight minute pace, I'm plenty, plenty warm like this uh, below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. There it is on your screen in Celsius. So, um, okay, real quick, moving down the body, the flip belt. This is what I use to carry my uh, phone when I'm out running, all right? And to listen to audiobooks when I'm out running, a lot of times I'll carry my phone. It's made by Flip Belt. The phone slips, actually, well, I don't have my phone on me, but the, fo the phone slips right in that hole right there, and then you pull it over your waist. I prefer the Flip Belt uh, company over Nathan. I also have a Nathan, it's in my room, but uh, I prefer flip belts. Um, okay, here we go. Let's go to the shoes real quick before we go out for the three mile jog. Butter my bread, ASICs in the house. Oh yeah, ready to rock and roll. The Gel Nimbus Light. Gel Nimbus Light in the house. There they are. Oh, loving the colorway. ASICs, nailed the colorway. So ASICs, ASICs is, watch out for ASICs in 2020. I predict ASICs is on the rise and is going to continue to make progress. And I'm just going to say catching up to a lot of other running shoes, running shoe companies that have advanced in the last, let's say, three, four, or five years. So this is the ASICs Gel Nimbus Light. Let's put them on the feet, take them out for the first impression run. It's a neutral road running shoe, um, lighter than the Gel Nimbus 22, just so everyone knows. Okay. Here we go, pulling, oh, pulling that out, taking the tags off. Oh, I love taking the tags off, there it is. Okay, let's put them on the feet here, move the camera, and rock and roll. Okay, here's my first steps in the ASICS Gel Nimbus Light. I can definitely feel the 10 millimeter drop. Ooh, nice cushion, nice cushion. I'm feeling a little bit of uh, energy return. 
It's a little bit of like, not pop. Pop is different. Not snappy. Snappy's different. Just a little bit of energy return. Oh man, that is quite nice. Okay, immediately noticing a wide toe box. Okay, the toe box does not feel, I don't feel scrunched up at all in the toe box. Awesome, all right, let's go. back to the studio. All right, first impressions of the Asics Gel Nimbus lights. Let me get them off my feet here. Put them up on our new shelving in the studio. Loving this. Okay, there we go. Okay, they put the move the next percent, put that up there. Half of a next percent. There's the Asics Gel Nimbus light just above, and let me take this off, just above the Asics Glide Ride. And I'm telling you, I don't know, I think Asics is making a comeback. I really do. Now, I have not run in the Cayeno or the, uh, what else is out there from Asics? The, uh, the Meta Ride, for example, the faster version of the Glide Ride. Maybe I will in 2020, but overall, I'm pretty excited about the movement that Asics is making. Okay, real quick, just my first impression, not the full review that'll happen after 50 miles, and it's really looking like, I don't know, I can tell I'll take this shoe to 50 miles. I enjoyed the ride today. Um, a couple thoughts. It's a 10 millimeter drop. Usually for a trainer, I prefer that six to eight millimeter range. 10 is maybe just a little high for me. For example, there it is, the Brooks Ghost 11. I believe it's a 12 millimeter drop and I only ran in this shoe, I think twice. It was just way too high. So 10 millimeters for a trainer is a little high for me, um, uh, 10. For racing, I actually kind of like a higher drop uh, for training. So today I felt it just like, you know what? I don't know if 10 millimeters is quite necessary, but anyway, it felt overall a nice, uh, a nice ride. Different than the glide ride though, just so you know. Um, yeah, much different feel. So if you like the glide ride, this doesn't feel like a glide ride ride, all right? Um, pretty breathable upper, Not, I'll have to run more in it. Uh, pretty breathable, as I mentioned, the toe box, nice and roomy. I didn't feel scrunched at all through the toe box. And my heel felt locked down through that heel counter. I didn't feel any slipping uh, in the heel counter, unlike the Nike, can I get it right here? The Nike React Infinity Run Flying It. I think I got it, I got it, okay. So feeling good there, it's the Flight Foam midsole, nice and cushioned, nice, and, like really quite nice. I felt good through that midsole. And then on the outsole, it's the, it's uh, AHAR is the acronym, uh, ASICS High Abrasion Rubber. And sometimes when I look at outsoles that look like that, I get really nervous that the rubber is going to be too hard, basically, too stiff. And if you press on it, it's not. I don't know what they, I can tell that ASICS is evolving when it comes to the landing and the cushion of the landing through their shoes, um, at least so far with the, that I've tried with the Glide Ride and now the Gel Nimbus Light. I'm really liking the outsole rubber on this uh, Gel Nimbus Light. So, so far, so good. Uh, I believe I want the price, I'll put it on the screen right now. I think $150, so maybe a little high for me, I must say, for a daily trainer. But, uh, and the weight, you know what? It feels pretty light right now holding it. While I was running though, I was like, you know what? Eh, this doesn't feel very light, but right now, I'll have to weigh it later. Um, overall, I'm excited, okay? Those are just my first impressions. I will definitely be taking this shoe to 50 miles for all of you. Question of the day, uh, what is the next piece of gear that you plan to purchase? Anything in the running space, whether it's tech, whether it's recovery, whether it's shoes, whatever it is, what it, and you haven't bought it yet, maybe you haven't tested it yet, but what are, what are you planning to purchase next and why? All right, let us know because uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Maybe I'm getting a little excited for spring and summer. We're definitely not out of winter yet, but uh, I'll be curious to read what all of you put 
down in the comments. Okay, and I just realized before I sign off that I was going to show you the sign here that I've taped on the wall. Basically, it's uh, it's from a fortune cookie, uh huh, from a Chinese restaurant here in Denver. And I'll just move the light here, see if I can shine it on for all of you. Here we go. Get a little autofocus going there. It says, hold on. It basically says, all your hard work will soon pay off. All right. So through the, hold on. Can you still see me? Through the renovation, hold on. It's probably too bright. Well, uh, yeah, no, we're good. Through the renovation of the studio, I found that piece of paper and uh, that little fortune cookie saying, and I'm just like, you know what? Let's just keep working hard, everyone, because good things are happening um, in running for many of you. And I know it is because you say down in the comments, you're hitting PRs, you're you're, you're qualifying for Boston. You're winning age divisions in your local 5Ks and 10Ks. So keep working hard. I'm going to try and keep working hard for all of you. And now that I'm back to running and it's feel, oh yeah, zero on the pain scale, um, I'll be able to test and work even harder at trying out more and more running shoes for all of you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Signing off. All right, you're the best. Ah, uh, ah, uh, so good. Okay, we're going to toss it back on the right to the ASICS Glide Ride first impression run. That'll be on the right. By the way, full review is coming very soon uh, for the ASICS Glide Ride. And then on the left, I will toss it back to a, let's do the first impression uh, playlist. That'll be on the left, first impression playlist. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.